As a university student, a large amount of your time is spent on research. You read academic books and journals, write research papers, attend lectures, and participate in classroom discussions. These activities show that you are not only a consumer of information, but also an active participant in the dissemination of scholarly knowledge. In order to successfully participate in academia, you need to better understand the context behind the information and knowledge that you engage. By reading, writing, and attending scholarly sessions, you are already inadvertently involved in an academic conversation with your peers, professors, and those scholars that came before you. You may be wondering, how am I contributing to scholarly discussion, and how is this relevant to me? We'll get to that, but first let's consider, what is scholarship as conversation? Well, communities of scholars, researchers, and professionals interact with one another by discussing their insights and discoveries on topics in their field. These are ongoing conversations between an ever-growing number of individuals who each bring their own perspectives and interpretations to the topic. These conversations take place in different venues, but are most evident in the writing and publishing of academic articles and scholarly books. So, how is this relevant to you? You're just a student after all. Well, as university students, you critically evaluate, cite, and contribute to issues and topics in your discipline. Issues and topics that are presented in the books and articles that you read. In writing research papers, you engage with the material that you are discussing. This means you critically evaluate what is being said, by who, and how it fits into the larger conversation on the topic. You further contribute by presenting in class or talking with colleagues. Your contribution isn't just a summary of the topic, but rather a development on the idea. Finally, by properly citing all the sources you engage with, you have now become one of the scholars developing the conversation with your own views and opinions. But keep in mind, there are barriers to scholarly conversation. The academic system privileges the voices and information of established power and authority structures. And by not having a fluency in the language and the processes of a discipline, you can be blocked from participating in the conversation. So work on familiarizing yourself with the evidence, methods, and vocabulary of your discipline. And remember, all experts were once beginners, so don't underestimate your contribution. You might just surprise yourself and others.